Dito Moeni, a key figure in South Africa's political and economic landscape, has died at the age of 65 after a short illness. His family confirmed that he passed away in a hospital in Johannesburg surrounded by his loved ones. The news was made public in a statement released on Saturday night. Mboweni was known for his influential role in shaping South Africa's post-apartheid economy. He served as the country's first labor minister in Nelson Mandela's government from 1994 to 1999 and went on to become the governor of the South African Reserve Bank, a position he held for a decade starting in 1999. From 2018 to 2021, Mboweni served as finance minister in President Cyril Ramaphosa's administration. In 2022, Mboweni left the ANC's National Executive Committee and transitioned into the private sector, joining Goldman Sachs as an advisor. In 2022, Mboweni left the ANC's National Executive Committee and transitioned into the private sector, joining Goldman Sachs as an advisor. He also took up the role of chairperson at Anglo Gold Ashanti while serving on several other company boards. President Cyril Ramaphosa expressed a deep sorrow at Mboweni's passing, calling it a shock and highlighting his vitality and dedication. Ramaphosa praised Mboweni for his contributions to South Africa's socio-economic development and his leadership in global forums, where he represented both the country's economy and the interests of developing nations. Ramaphosa added that Mboweni's personable nature, often displayed through his social media presence, endeared him to many South Africans. Dr Mboweni's passing is a profound loss to our country. He was a leader whose commitment to labor rights and economic transformation was unmatched, said Ramaphosa. He was a flag bearer for South Africa on the international stage and a voice for developing economies worldwide. His energy and approachability made him an icon both professionally and personally. The ANC paid tribute to Mboweni's legacy, describing his life as one of sacrifice and dedication. ANC spokesperson Mashengi Begumutiri emphasized Mboweni's connection with the people he served noting that his economic contributions were accompanied by a deep personal bond with the South African public. Bengu Motsiri also remarked on his active presence on social media when Bowini shared his personal interests, including his love of cooking and his cultural roots in Mojaji's kloof. The economic freedom fighters extended their condolences as well, acknowledging Bowini's unconventional policy ideas despite their disagreements. The EFF highlighted his openness to robust debates and noted his tendency to propose bold and radical economic solutions, surprising many who saw him as more traditional in his approach. Bowen's family requested privacy as they navigate through this difficult time.